Hello, I'm Quinn Curtis, the marketing director here at Oil Life and an avid essential oils fan. I've been using oils for the past 10 years and they have helped keep my family super healthy and strong. And so I'm excited to share with you a couple of tips about staying well during cold and flu season using your essential oils. Now we will be referencing some tips from the Essential Life book, which is the best resource for all things essential oils and any questions you might have. And in the immune and lymphatic section, which is on page 291 of the newest book, there is a ton of information and there's lots of recipes and, and remedies in this section. So some of the ones that we love and hear on page 294 are the cold and flu balm and the cold and flu drink, as well as some of these tips, which I'll tell you a few of and some that might may or may not be here. So here we go. Tip number one is as soon as you start feeling like you're coming down with something, you want to start using your essential oils regularly. So a lot of people are tempted with, oh, I just don't feel good, so I'm going to use the whole bottle of oils right now and get feeling better. It doesn't really work well that way. And so the best way to, to help yourself feel better fast and give your body the support it needs is to use one to two drops every 30 to 60 minutes for the first 24 to 48 hours. That's going to give your body continued support in a way that it can handle and digest and it's gonna help you get feeling better a lot faster. So that's tip number one. Tip number two is that I don't know about you, I actually was just sick just recently, and I'm just back in the office today, and my temptation, whenever I'm sick, maybe you can relate, is to reach for comfort foods. So like, oh, I don't feel good, all I can eat is this brownie, right? That's all that looks good. Well, I want you to be thinking that whenever you are not feeling well, it's kind of like the, there's a battle going on in your system between the germs and your all of your healthy parts of your body and that when you are getting sick, it's like there's a battle is being lost. And so you need to bring in more soldiers for your army. This is obviously how I also explain it to my children. But, um, so bringing in more soldiers to your army, sorry about that noise, is uh, by bringing in more live nutrition. So getting a green smoothie, taking some of your supplements, um, and being really good about what you're eating and drinking for that first 24 to 48 hours can make a major difference in feeling better faster. And the third tip is to be using your diffuser as much as possible. Diffusers are amazing for purifying the air. And so you can be putting your protective blend in the diffuser. You can be using citrus oils in your diffuser. You can even be using like the respiratory blend or peppermint oils in your diffuser to be supporting not only in your body feeling better, but also cleaning and purifying the air so that the germs aren't spreading. So we want you to stay well this cold and flu season. So be sure to use these tips and reach, uh, go to your Essential Life book for even more. And um, we're cheering you on and using your oils. You're empowered, you have everything you need to stay well. And so be sure to also be thinking of those around you who might need these empowering, supportive tools as well. And be thinking about how you could share your essential oils with them. Is somebody in your world starting to come down with something? Can you loan them a diffuser with some oils so they can try it out? Or could you share a few samples of some oils that could really help them, like the protective blend or the respiratory blend, so that they can get feeling better faster? Uh, just show up to serve those in your world and you'll feel so good that not only you and your family are taken care of, but those also that you care about.